They say cousins are either your best friends or your worst enemies, but they never told us how cousins could go from being tighter than a dick in the butt to being at each other's throats, even in public. Well, Bonang Matiba and her cousin slash PA slash handbag slash stashalala have been dragging each other on Twitter after Bonang, whom Somizi once called the common denominator of industry beefs, said, and I quote, She has a visa, but isn't vaccinated. I am tired. Missing out on trips around the world because you're unvaccinated? Ridiculous. And like, I need a new PA with a visa to join the team. What the fuck is happening, Ganti? Unquote. A follower then asked, Mwanyana tlawe alekai? Which means, where will the girly be? To which Bonang responded, Jwanspeg. Whew. Pinky girl did not take the subliminal shots lightly. Hence, she came for Bonang, guns blazing, and said, I can't stand fake concerns. I can always go. The beat still goes on, say, see? Miguel is vaccinated and has her vaccination certificate. But she's not going anywhere. Hey, <laughs> yeah, ne. That's just being shallow from being dragged, unfollowed and blocked for absolutely no reason at all. While I'm still pushing the love. <laughs> people who enjoy bringing other people down are major red flags. Out. A follower responded, Mala and keep getting those golden eggs from Mother Goose. Which means, if I were you, I'd keep quiet and keep benefiting from my association with the Mother Goose, aka Bonang Matiba. This made Pinky Girl see red. So she responded, Are you serious? Mother Goose Yama Sepa. Good night. Which basically means, mother goose my ass. Yay! Iwishi wishi, the girls are fighting! Ha 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 Iwishi wishi. Wait! What is the tea? The girls are fighting! No! It's rather unfortunate that it had to be taken to the socials when it's something that could have been discussed ekaya. Perhaps Monang was just kidding. <laughs> and trying to revive people's interest in her. Or perhaps she was trying to gain new followers who are all for the drama. Since she has started a new YouTube channel after her last one flopped. I also understand why Pinky Girl would feel some type of way as she's become the bud of the joke. And we all know that behind every joke lies a message. In this instance, the message could be that Pinky girl is lame and uist ashalala eslezi si sala maghanjwa because she doesn't have her shit together. Perhaps they've been making fun of Pinky girl Mdenini and even in the friend circle. Two weeks ago. Tarikwene, Mugel. Iya embassy oats a visa. Baban. Yeah, panang on sense. Okay. do. Mwanyana hana visa, so mwanyana utabe ale kai? Juan's back. Rona? France. Because? Yeah, but I'm going to win. You're not feeling good. You're not feeling good. Wait, now you're going to tell me I forgot to get my visa for the, for the Schengen state. We'll see. Yeah, go. So she is hot full 
and has decided to put on her big girl panties and put her foot down. And to that I say, yes, pinky girl, stand your ground. Family can be very toxic, especially when they think gukona ognengi wekbona. Others feel that they are murekis, so the whole world should revolve around them, while others are bullies who are self-proclaimed ancestor vessels that expect everybody to bow at their feet, no mabetagwa, and to them we say, foot sack. I am a princess, a lover of good things, but I don't mind getting dirty. Foot sack. Hi, Jim. Ha, wherever the wind blows, Miguel, Koiwa. You understand? It's amazing. I'm basking, darling. Yo, ha, Rahalalela. Can you see? Melting, butter, out of control. Hey, hey, hey.